Hi friends, I'm Sam and I study fish evolution here in my bedroom in Cambridge and sometimes in the lab, but that depends on what's going on in the world. Anyway, you want to do a postgraduate degree here, that's really cool, I'm going to make this video really really short. A little bit about me, I did my undergrad at Imperial College London in Biological Sciences and I uh, am now doing an MPhil studying the evolution of a group of really cool fish called cichlids. How do you start the process of, of wanting to do a postgraduate degree here? Um, well, first of all, you've got to find something you're interested in during your, your undergrad degree. Find what it is that gets you going, talk to your lecturers about it, do basically a deep dive into it, read, read, read. and it, that's as easy as it is. You just got to do a bit of reading and maybe eventually you go, wow, this bit of reading is really cool and I want to do more of it. But, oh wait, there's no more words. And that's when you know that's what you want to, to do research on because you want to make the words and I want to make the words about fish. Then, once you know what you want to do, once you know the thing that you want to study, you need to have a look at people who work in Cambridge, researchers, basically. Um, and you want to find people who research the topic, the theme that you're personally interested in. Particularly for STEM, uh, it's because at some point in your masters, you're going to have to do a research project. In my case, it's a nine month research project. For some other people, they sort of do a research project in parallel to taught content. Um, and on top of that, you are justifying your reasoning for coming to Cambridge. So you want to look through the researchers and the research work and the research themes that go on here for biology this website is really good it's a good website for doing that once you've chosen a person reach out to them what you want to do is you want to tell them what your interests are you want to ask whether there is availability for someone to join their lab and a, another really useful thing to do in that message is just to, to chuck your cv on at the end and then uh the next thing you're going to do is is wait and there's a lot of waiting so it's really important that you get in and get started this process really really early especially if you want to apply for funding uh, which funding deadline is is in January so you can still apply here without funding just you will have to self-fund or um, get a loan from the government. Cool so once you've spoken to them and they've said yeah we'd love to have you as an MPhil student what you want to then do is uh, prep your application and your application really takes four parts your statement of purpose which is like your personal statement for undergrad, CV, a research proposal and uh, you can need to get two references. So the first of those things your personal statement frankly I could go into a lot of detail in this but in really really brief what you want to do is you you want to list your interests, say why your interests align with the research group you're opposing to, you want to mention also why your interests align with the, the course more broadly, and basically why you'd be a good fit for Cambridge and why Cambridge would be a good fit for you. In this it is worth mentioning the experience you have working around your interests, so whether that is a practicals you've done as part of your university degree, modules you've taken, or work experience which is relevant. On the topic of tying your interests to Cambridge, mention people and research groups by name. Do you want to prove how much you care about about getting on for this. And then, you know, end of your personal statement, mention some relevant tangential interesting stuff, perhaps awards you've won, charity work, volunteering, all of this is really, really good stuff. Just to show that you're a well-rounded candidate who really cares about the thing you're doing and also will be an asset to the Cambridge community. The next element, your CV. Uh, this needs to be an academic CV. So what that basically means is you list your modules uh, that you've undertaken and the skills you've developed during those those modules. Because really, your university degree is probably where you've got the most experience relevant to, to this course you're applying to undertake. You also want to list your current grade uh, or your predicted grade, ideally, uh, just to show that you are at the academic caliber that they require. Next, you need your work experience, anything that's relevant and then finally some extracurricular stuff ideally try and keep it down to to one or two pages at most con con concision conciseness being concise is what matters next research proposal you're going to be con talking to the academic you've contacted about this um, there is really no style it's quite free form but generally what you want is background why this matters why now is the right time to be doing it aims potentially three questions you want to answer and then your proposed methods. And finally, references. Just make sure you contact them really, really early. Give them loads of notice, tell them when deadlines are, send them your CV, your transcript, your personal statement, so they can write a reference that's personal to you. Obviously, the final thing really with regards to your application is that it goes without saying that you're gonna to need to work hard during your undergraduate degree to, to meet the threshold which you need to be above in order to come here. But that first thing I mentioned about like finding what gets you excited and being in touch with academics, that should help keep you motivated. I made a video which will be here um, about how you can get a first really, really easily by just following a few tips. Honestly, watch that. Stick to it as a guide and it should get you the grades you need in order to do whatever it is you want to do with your life, whether it's come here, but you don't even want to do postgrad degree. You got a job. Probably not considering the, this, everything. But, but maybe. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it in really, really brief. Stay curious, friends, and ta-ra. See you next time.